Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the haunting event here within Modern Warfare 2. As you can see, I am now over 1,000 souls and I'm now able to purchase the Ghoulie camo here within Modern Warfare 2, which looks absolutely fantastic. Here's going to be some footage of it on a bunch of different weapons. Keep in mind, they're doing something interesting now when it comes to the weapon blueprints and some of the different variants, whereas the graphics on the gun itself are kind of an extra layer on top of the gun. So if you add a camo, you still get those graphics on there, which definitely looks pretty good. Good. But overall, Goalie looks absolutely fantastic. And if you caught my last video just a couple days ago, I only had 453 souls. And just over the course of playing a couple of hours here, I went from 453 to over a thousand. How does that do that? Well, the answer is going to be Warzone. Unfortunately, I'm a multiplayer focused channel, as you guys know, but the answer lies within a Warzone game mode called Lockdown Quads. It's going to be on Von Dead, otherwise known as Vondel. It's going to be 36 players on the map. You can have up to three other people in your squad with you but the strategy here is simply just to go in solo turn off that autofill jump in solo and get yourself 25 souls very quickly and then use what might actually be sort of an exploit i'm really not sure let me know what you guys think about this so you drop in and you basically just hunt down other players and there are 35 other players in the lobby and every player can drop you three souls right if you kill the same person twice they're not going to drop you souls a second time but occasionally you'll also get lucky and you'll occasionally just drop in there's gonna be a bunch of souls already on the map from a previous fight that other people were having then you swoop in you try to take those you make them mad but you know what you're happy there you go i would say on average depending on the lobby lobbies do differ person to person and game to game but on average it would take maybe five minutes maybe seven minutes something like that depending on the lobby to get 25 souls it's very quick within this game mode but then you may be thinking well once you're maxed out on your souls well you have to finish out the match right it doesn't sound very efficient well there's something weird with lockdown quad it might be a Warzone thing in general. I don't know. I don't play Warzone. I don't really like Warzone. In fact, the more I played this lockdown game mode, the more I hate Warzone even more because it's just people sweating and using the exact same broken shotgun every single freaking match. But what you can go ahead and do is once you get your 25 souls and then somebody kills you, just press start or escape, whatever it is on your platform, and then you have the option to hit play again. The game's still going on, but you can just straight up leave and join another lobby right in the middle of the match and if you do that it keeps all of your souls you don't have to actually finish the game so you jump in occasionally you get lucky you might get all 25 souls in like three or four minutes and then you let someone kill you and then you press start you press play again you jump into another lobby the only real downside to this is it kind of takes a while because of skill based matchmaking and all that bullshit to actually get you into another match but hands down this is the fastest most efficient way of going about getting these souls the biggest downside however again i'm a multiplayer focused guy i'm a multi player focus channel you gotta play lockdown quads it's going to be in warzone definitely go in solo if you go in solo it seems like your respawn timer is almost like five seconds every single time whereas if you're playing with teammates sometimes that takes even longer for some reason jump in solo don't really worry about the objective just worry about hunting down other players that's all you really gotta do grab your souls as fast as possible be sure to loot boxes as well as you can find souls within those boxes if you're having a hard time getting towards the other players and yeah there you go I mean, you don't need anything fancy in terms of loadouts or anything like that. I mean, I just took the default Bass P reward that you get for killing all the monsters here in the haunting event. I took that. I got rid of the grip. I put on an extended mag. I put a shotgun as my secondary and I just went to town. Put a throwing knife on there for easy cleanups once you knock somebody down. And yeah, it's super quick. It's super efficient. It's also, I'm not going to lie to you guys, when you're going for a thousand souls, it's pretty tedious, pretty mind numbing. It stops being fun after a while. But if you're grinding a thousand souls, you're probably looking to do it pretty quickly before the event ends so there you guys have it that is the fastest method that i've seen so far i'm not sure who came up with it or who figured it out i just i was asking you guys in the comments of my previous video what were your methods for farming out souls because i was just playing like team deathmatch trying to get games over quickly and a number of you said to try lockdown quads and so i gave it a try my very first match i jumped in there i got 25 souls in the matter of like four or five minutes so i'm like okay that worked out pretty damn well. So, yeah, I want to make this video for you guys, not only showcasing the camo, but also showing you the best way that I found so far to farm out these souls. Because, again, the event does end in 11 days at the time this video being recorded. So we don't have that much time left to go when it comes to actually earning this camo or maybe earning the weapon variants or anything you may be looking for. So I want to get this video out as fast as I could. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And I hope you guys all... Happy wonderful day.